ultrasound in regional anaesthesia. What is ultrasound? The range of human hearing is from 20 to 20,000 hertz. Any sound occurring at a frequency less than 20 hertz is called infrasound below the range of human hearing. Any sound with a frequency of greater than 20,000 hertz is known as ultrasound above the range of human hearing. Medical ultrasound typically uh, uses frequencies of 2 to 15 megahertz. How do you make ultrasound waves? The principle is that of a piezoelectric crystal, which has the property that if you apply a voltage to the crystal, it will change its shape. Similarly, if you change the shape of the crystal using pressure, um, a voltage will develop across the crystal. So voltage and shape are interchangeable and reversible. First, the crystal acts as a transmitter. So a voltage is applied uh, intermittently to the crystal, which intermittently deforms it, causing it to vibrate, and this produces ultrasound waves. Then the crystal acts as a receiver. It's not transmitting sound. A returning echoes from deeper tissues deform the crystal, which creates a voltage across the crystal, which is processed um, to give a return. Sound is produced. This sound is transmitted through a medium, in this case human tissue. It's reflected back to the uh, transmitting transducer, processed, and the processing uses the delay, time delay, between uh, ultrasound being emitted and received to give information about the depth of the structures, and it uses the amount of energy being reflected back to give information about the structure being interrogated. Good reflection is very important to produce good quality ultrasound images. In order to reflect sound back towards the transducer, there needs to be some form of acoustic boundary, which is a difference in tissues, which causes an interface which allows reflections to occur. It's important that the ultrasound beam should cut through the structures to be interrogated to as close to 90 degrees as possible, because this will give the best return to the transducer um, and avoid um, anisotropy where sometimes you can see the image and sometimes you can't with very small movements of, of, of your hand on the probe. The aim of ultrasound is to make tissues that are alike look alike and tissues that are different look different. Good quality ultrasound pictures rely on a high degree of specular reflection where ultrasound waves are transmitted from the transducer, interact with the reflector and then are reflected straight back towards the ultrasound probe. If you get lots of scattering using very small reflectors, only a very limited amount of energy will be directed back to the probe, uh, and a lot of energy will be wasted scattering in all sorts of different directions, uh, and this diminishes the quality of the image. If the angle of incidence of the ultrasound beam and the reflector is in the order of 90 degrees, ultrasound waves will be transmitted towards the reflector and then will be reflected straight back to the ultrasound probe. This gives the best quality images. If there's an angle between the probe and the reflector, then ultrasound waves will be reflected off at an angle and may not get back to the transducer to produce an image. This sort of um, failure of spectral reflection will significantly reduce image quality. This is important clinically because many uh, structures show this tendency for um, anisotropy where at one angle you get quite a good image of the structure you're interrogating and then a small change in your hand position, the angle of the probe um, directing the ultrasound beam, you can get a very poor um, quality image because much of the ultrasound energy is being reflected uh, away from the probe and not returning back to the probe. There are a number of important interactions between ultrasound uh, energy and tissues. Any amount of absorption or scattering or refraction of the energy will result in energy loss or attenuation. Um, this leads to poorer quality images and is more noticeable uh, for the deeper tissues. So deeper tissues uh, reflect um, less energy coming back to the probe which will cause problems with resolution or image quality um, and artefacts.
vertical artifact um, commonly arises because reflections from the deeper tissues are, are, are weaker in nature and in many machines there is the facility to increase the gain from signals coming back from the later signals or deeper tissues to try and make a more uniform, um, higher quality picture. Um, this is known as time gain compensation. On simple machines there will be a, a straightforward near and far gain button. On advanced machines they have sliders. These allow you to adjust the amplification of returning echoes from very specific depths in the tissue to improve your image quality. Experienced ultrasonographers will spend a lot of time um, adjusting the time gain compensation um, settings in order to um, get the best picture they possibly can.